All right, guys. Are you ready for this? Because we're about to do something crazy. Hey guys, it's Courtney here, and I have Miss Rosanna, and oh my goodness, I've been both excited and dreading this time, <laughs> this day, <laughs> whatever, um, because I've been saying for a long while that I was wanting to get Rosanna rerouted because um, the one flaw about her is I hate her hair. I just, I do. It is a frizzy mess, and no matter how many times I style it, it just doesn't do what I would like it to do. Um, there are times when it turns out great, like if I spray it and make it curly. And as long as it's like a little bit damp, it looks great. But as soon as it's dry, it's just like a, it's just a mess. And um, I know that sometimes it, it just, it's, there's a lot of factors involved. Um, you can get the same mohair and the same type from a certain supplier. And it can just be different every single time. Sometimes the batches are not good. Um, sometimes it's the way it's rooted. There's a lot of factors involved. Um, I'm in no way faulting her artist. Um, it's just, it's just the way that, it's just my personal preference. I just, it's, it drives me crazy. For the most part, I, put, I keep her in a hat just because I don't want to deal with her hair. And I think that's kind of a shame, um, for a doll like her to not be able to fully, um, you know, have her like I want to have her. So, and it also, the timing kind of worked out. I was going to wait and have her done uh, at the end of summer. But I um, was talking to the lovely Miss Claudette, who's rooted plenty of my silicones in the past. She's wonderful. She's an absolute lovely lady. And she's having some financial issues at this point. And so I brought up, well, because um, I, I purchased a kit from her. And I'm probably going to be, might be purchasing more kits from her. She's going to give me a list Um in the next day or so and I said well do you need some more rooting jobs uh, at this time I didn't know if she was booked up or anything or if just rooting jobs might help her currently with her financial issues and she said yes that she would be happy to have more rooting opportunities because um, she's just falling on hard they're falling on hard times right now so with that being said I said well the timing must be right for Rosanna because um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> I just gotta face my fears and get it over with. My fear is taking her hair out. Um, you know, I know that once she's done, I it'll, it, she'll be perfect and I love her. And I know I love her hair because Claudette always does an amazing job. It's just the fact that I am, you know, taking something off that I paid for, I guess, essentially. She wasn't, she wasn't a cheap doll. She wasn't. Um, I'll admit that. Uh... In fact, most people know um, Sugar Butch's Nursery. It's almost impossible to get a doll from her right now. Uh, in fact, I think I even, I messaged her like a couple days ago and um, basically asked to be notified of her next girl edition, which sounds like won't be until like September of 2020. So she is extremely booked out um, and rightfully so. Her babies are fantastic, and her prices, comparatively, are really good. Um, anyway, so of course, uh, I want to be able to enjoy her fully, and so that means that she needs to get a new head of hair. Oh, goodness, I'm just, I'm nervous. <laughs> so what I'm planning on doing is, um, I'm going to see how well this, I think that'll work. I'm coming in with this. It's actually a little eyelash curler that actually came with her for her little eyelashes. Her eyelashes are perfect. We're not going to touch those. But we are going to be... I'm going to be derooting her because that is a lot of unnecessary extra work on her rooter. And I actually enjoy derooting. I derooted Asher. And I found it very relaxing. Because you, you get the bulk of the hair out. And then you basically just sit with a pair of tweezers. And just gently pull the hair out. And for some reason that is therapeutic to me. I'll, I put a movie on and I just sit and I tweeze the hair out. So um, here we go. We're going to go for our first pull. You ready? Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. So she's going to be bald for a little bit. Once I have her all done. Oh wow. Her hair is really stuck in there. Look at that. I'm actually super impressed. 
Like I pull in her, her like head's kind of, oh, we don't want to do that. All right, we just need to do this a little bit more gentle, I guess. Or like maybe just a little bit at a time. There, that's better. Wow. Maybe this is the softer silicone, but I've never seen it really grab onto hair like that. That's actually really impressive. Oh, my trash can is going to be full of hair. I won't show the whole derooting process, but I just wanted to, <laughs> just wanted to share with you guys what's going to be happening. Wow. Man, I guess that's one nice thing. Her silicone really holds the hair, so you really don't have to worry about... I mean, I was pull. I'm pulling, like, I'm trying to be gentle, but I'm pulling as hard as I can gently, and it's actually hard for it to come out. So, hey, kudos to uh, Diana for being able to do that, or maybe it's the silicone itself that just grabs hold. It's really nice. Anyway, <laughs> all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out... The majority of her hair there's going to be like some little pieces left over that i'll have to tweeze out afterwards of course but once i have all her hair out um oh my goodness i'm so nervous <laughs> once i have all her hair out i will um, come back and show you guys how she looks uh, i know that she has like some little painted hair here so i'm going to be giving her and she's got some painted hair here her hairline's painted i am going to be giving her the same color i want her you know her color to still be the same which is like a light brown like a, or more like a medium brown so that way, like, her eyelashes and her eyebrows and her painted hair will all match. But her hair will just be different. It'll be nicer quality. All right, guys. Be right back. So there is Rosanna. <laughs> Obviously she looks a lot different. Um, there's actually still quite a bit of like peach fuzz all over her head, you can see. Um, but I got as much hair off as I could like in to where I could just grab it with my hands. Um, for the most part I can't anymore. That was very hard work. Wow. Like you really had, the silicone really had that hair. You had to really grab on and pull and I was trying to be as gentle as I possibly could and I had to do it in just very very tiny sections um, but we for the most part got the big chunk of it done and now now comes the tedious part of taking tweezers and very gently pulling out all of this hair <laughs> she still has a ton so we will see how it goes but you can see let me just bring you down here you can see the painted hair that her artist did she had her hairline 
pretty much yeah pretty much her whole hairline so down here on the sides right here and then coming up to the top of the head she has some painted hair and then along the side here so she is beautiful and she's going to be even more beautiful once we get her some new hair that's really nice quality so i'm really really excited about that she's still a cutie batootie um, i'll probably just put a bow in her hair or even put her little bonnet back on um after i get her rest of her hair out until she gets uh get ready to get shipped out but i mean honestly she still looks good <laughs> she because a lot of babies <clears throat> excuse me a lot of babies actually have about that much hair see and so she still looks like a beautiful little baby she we're, i'm just so used to ha seeing her with all that thick hair but Anyway, guys, there is Rosanna. I'm ex very excited. I was, I'm less nervous now. I was very nervous when I was like in the process of pulling her hair out, but I'm much less nervous now because it's happening and we're gonna, we're gonna get her looking great. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it wasn't too odd or too painful to watch. Um, but hopefully we, the next time you see her, she will be, um, coming back to me. I'll do a box opening of her revealing her new hair. So um, stay tuned for that in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you in another video very, very, very soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Courtney here and I'm <laughs> with my little um, hairless Rosanna um, and she is all ready to be shipped out um, to get rerouted. I spent quite a while getting at least the majority of her hair um, out the back of her head was making me nervous because the way that it was positioned um, I kept accidentally like grabbing hold of little bits of silicone um, Instead of just the hair and I, it just kept happening. I'm like, you know what? It's it's not that bad. So I'm gonna leave it I mean you can't even really see it. It's just it's like the very it's a very small spot right here where there's a little like some little wispy hair still left and I'm just gonna leave them because they're really not that big a deal Hopefully that will not um, bother Claudette and mess up her work. Um, but I have her in her this disposable diaper. I normally keep her in a cloth diaper. Put this on, and I'm going to put her in an outfit that is not like from my personal collection of baby clothes. Um, I do that just in case um, something happens. Maybe she forgets to send the outfit back, or forgets which one's mine, <laughs> etc. Um, and that way, it's not that big a deal. So I'm just going to put her in this little sleeper. Um, really pretty sleeper though. And we're going to get her bubble wrapped and packed up. Am I nervous? Absolutely. Very nervous to send her out. <laughs> oh, shipping is always nerve wracking. But of course she'll be fully insured and all that. So hopefully she will um, make it there nice and safe as well as safe on the way back all right so her and then um, i have another baby that i'm shipping out tomorrow as well um, that one is a little bit uh, sadder because it is a baby from my collection that is actually leaving and going to a new home um, and i will share that in just a little bit so let me quickly i'm just going to put this little hat on her and it will actually help to <laughs> completely cover her and keep her a little bit safer um, i'll leave it up for now so this is what she's going to be wearing and i'm literally just going to bubble wrap her um, stick her in a box um, make sure that she is packed tight and safe and then she will be on her way out tomorrow i guess i should have probably should have gotten mittens but i think i'll just pull these up for now and um I might, I might go ahead and send some mittens. I have, I could have some to spare. Hey guys, someone very special is back, new and improved, and all that fun stuff. So in this box we have Miss Rosanna. She went off to get some new hair, and I was stressing the whole time she traveled there, and I was stressing the whole time she traveled back. So I'm very, 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 very excited that she's here. So she's still in this little. Um, whatever you call those things, <laughs> swaddler that I sent her in in her little hat. Let's go ahead and get her out. 
also the pictures that I have seen of her. She looks great. I love her new hair. Oh, and I'm just excited that I think it's going to be a little more manageable now. Sorry, I moved the camera a little bit. I'm in a different, at a different angle. I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and just get her out of here. Oh, goodness, I've missed this girl. I really have. I really missed her. Okay, let's get you out. Okay. There we go. Take your hat off. And you got a diaper head. Okay. Alright, guys. Are you ready? You ready to see your hair? Your pajamas are too big for you. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. There we go. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, the color is so perfect. I knew I was going to have to comb her hair a little bit when she got here. So let me very gently. Oh my goodness. I love it. Looky there. Oh my goodness. I'm actually super, super, super excited. Um, this is uh, mohair. Um, Claudette was going to do alpaca hair, which is also really, really nice. But I haven't had the best luck with alpaca hair with silicone specifically. So I did ask um, for mohair, but some that was straighter because the curly hair that she had before, um, while I did like the curly look, I think it was the mohair itself was, um, I guess like <clears throat> maybe not like it was kind of dry. And I've said this again and again, I certainly do not blame her, um, her silicone artist by any means. I know that she uses hair pretty much from the same distributor and she uses the same kind and sometimes you get good batches and sometimes you don't and unfortunately sometimes you can't tell that until after you have already uh, started rooting and so on so um, it's okay I'm, I have no qualms about that but I really did want to get her redone and I'm so glad I did I absolutely love it love it it just feels so nice and it looks really cute on her oh look at her here we go. Who's this sweet girl? We can do all kinds of fun stuff with this hair. We can go straight down. Oh, look at there. Come on to the other side. Ooh, I like that look too. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And then I'll show you the back. Got a sweet little swirl there. All right, guys. I know this video is short, but um, I wanted to reveal her. The last time we saw her, um, she had no hair. We had taken out all of her hair. But now she is looking quite beautiful. So I'm going to turn off the camera and enjoy her and play with her hair. And put some headbands on and all that fun stuff. And um, so maybe next time you see her, she will be a little bit prissed up with her. Uh, sorry, she's got a glitter on her. <laughs> with um, some hair accessories. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in another one. Very, very soon. Bye-bye.